Hi everybody, Levi Clay here, back again to do another Reading 101 video. A little fun series I do where I look at a transcription, something that I have transcribed, and then I go through learning to play it based purely on reading, not looking at the actual audio, but learning to interpret what's on the page. The reason we do this is because it helps with our rhythm recognition. The hardest part of transcribing is nailing rhythm recognition. Too many people have problems with that aspect of transcribing, the actual writing down rhythms. If we can read a rhythm and interpret it, if we can read something and understand what it's going to sound like, then with practice you're going to be able to hear something and understand what it will look like written down. So this time we are looking at uh, Monkey in a Movie by Jim Campolongo. I did a video on this previously on my channel teaching the intro riff, uh, so we won't learn that uh, but if you if you are interested in looking at that particular riff very cool sounding riff sounds like this lots of fun to play so what we're going to look at is the main riff so the verse riff i should say now, uh, I'm really in the way, so I'm just going to minimise myself just a little bit, just so we can talk about the first measure. So, the main verse riff begins on the final 16th note of the, the, the bar, so leading into that verse riff. So, as we're dealing with 16th notes, we need to get to grips with that feeling of uh, 1E e and a 2E e and a 1E e and a 2E e and a... Being able to pick on the and. 1E e and a, 2E e and a. Right on that last beat. Now we know where that double stop is placed. We want to get used to sliding it down here. So what we're going to focus on, I'll make myself a bit bigger now. What we're going to focus on is this part here. So I'm getting used to that idea of 1, 2, 3, 4 E and A. Uh. I'm then going to slide down and we've got to the 4th fret. We've then got a muted string, 16th note, followed by that double stop again. So if we were to just practice this beat, we have this, 1 E and uh, 2 E and uh, 1 E and uh, 2 E and uh, 1 E and uh, 2 E and uh, now if I put the previous part, 1, 2, 3, 4, E, and A. Not too difficult. Rhythmically, if we look at beat 2, 8th note followed by two 16th notes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, one E, and A, 2, and 1, E, and A, 2, and now if I put those two things together one two three four four okay beat three we're shifting up the neck a little double stop on the and 1 E and, that's the uh, second eighth note in the beat. This is a double stop, a C and an F sharp. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and 4 and not too tricky then we have the exact same rhythm in the second bar same phrase for beats 1 and 2 but the last double stop is an open A and D string so shouldn't be too tricky to tie those two things together Same thing again. Then we move into this 
more interesting section. You need to let everything ring out. But rhythmically, not too tricky a pattern. One and uh, two and, oh well, sorry, this begins on four. Let me count that correctly. Four and uh, one and two and uh, three and four and uh. So um, here's my pulse. So da 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 my pick <laughs> so again as with everything else i could begin just by reading that just getting used to this picking the seventh fret on the d string then picking seven and four and sliding up to five so one two three four one two three four one two three four not too tricky at all i'm going to hold that and then play one and two and uh, three and that's that section one and two and uh, three and four and one and two and uh, three and four so if i play uh well you know what i take this entire riff up to that point we could really, you're essentially starting from here and then going back to the beginning. So we'd have one, two, three, four. Too tricky at all um, when you have a good ability to read rhythms. Let me play that a bit faster for you. So one, two, three, four. That's not too tricky. Now, if we just look at the chorus riff again, very interesting Jim Campolongo style. Um, rhythmically, very simple. One and two e and three and four. The next bar, we have one and two and three, four. One and two and three, four. One and two and three. For played with harmonics so it's really about getting that bend in time right one and two e and 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 three four Really, I just practice reading that and really getting to grips with the rhythmic placing of this. One and two e and three and four and one and two and three, four. One and two e and three and four and one and two and three, four. And you can put a bit of vibrato behind the nut on that if you like. One and two and three and four. One and two and three. Four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three, four. Second part just as easy. Easier in fact because in the second part we only have to play uh, two harmonics on beat two. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four. One, two three four one and two e and three and four one two three four 
So not too tricky. We then repeat the same idea. One and two and three, four. One and two and three and four. One, two. At least that's what I've transcribed there. And then we go back into the main riff. So that's really all there is to that. And this was also uh, an attempt to give my patrons over on Patreon an idea of uh, how these parts sound. So what I'm going to do now is... Um, hmm. Yeah, I'll play along with the transcription and I will sync it in post to make sure it works. Um... Yeah, that works. Okay, so I'll do that. Uh, hopefully we can hear this. Let me just... Yeah, I can hear that. Great. Uh, so, that's going to sound like this. Like this. <laughs> fill nice and easy my favorite part to play read this <laughs> Jim Campolongo's Monkey in a Movie. If you have enjoyed that, then what I would recommend is, uh, well, get practicing. But aside from that, uh, you can be like these excellent people. These guys are my Patreon supporters. They all support me at a $10 tier. So a huge thank you to you guys. Your support helps to make me keep making videos. And there's nothing that can stop me making videos apart from spots and things. Uh, I'm going to have to raid my wife's makeup at this rate. So yeah, thank you so much for all your support, guys. It really does help. If you'd like to join that list of people, you can do so for... Well, actually, you can join my Patreon for as little as a dollar. Check it out by clicking this button up here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking this little button down here. And there are two more videos. One is Jim Campolongo's Monkey in a Movie up here. And one is another one of my videos. I'm sure you will find something that you enjoy. Thank you so much for the support, guys. And hopefully, well, definitely, I'll see you for another video soon. Peace out. Bye.